Um, thank you very much, Carol. Um, my, name is, uh, my name is Mayumi Okada, and uh, I'm a um, deputy chief of the Hokkaido University Repatriation Office. But I, my personal interest is um, also public archaeology, and I have been uh, working with the Professor Kato in Lebanon Island and the other place in Hokkaido. Um, today, tit uh, the title of the today's presentation is Cultural Communication Through Archaeology and Hokkaido. Um, the paper, uh, this paper, firstly overview present situation of the Ainu uh, people and archaeological studies related to Ainu culture and history. Then this paper tries to examine how archaeological researches and the indigenous heritage have played a role of the communication between the Ainu and the ethnic Japanese. I will describe case study from Biratori Town, Hokkaido, Japan, and bring it on the light of advantages, advantage and the issue of using archaeology for mutual understanding among the different cultural groups. Also, my um, outline said I introduced two case studies, but I, in order to make my points clear, so I decided I decided focusing on the only uh, one case study instead of two. So um, as Professor Kato already introduced the background of the Ainu people, but I just add some points. The um, Ainu people as, uh, is, um, doesn't, uh, don't have any reserved uh, reservation land and also self-governmental body. And also uh, most of the, their culture are facing to uh, the problem of uh, the losing their culture and lifestyle due to the uh, severe discrimination and ass assimilation in the early 20th centuries. Um, and also um, the, uh, and then atten um, attention to the indigenous people's right over archeology span and cultural heritage was gradually gathered internationally after the 1980s. Especially it is, uh, it was, very remarkable that the United Nations Declaration on the Light of Indigenous People clearly mentioned that Indigenous people have the right to practice and revitalize their cultural traditions and custom, including managing archaeological and hist historical sites. The detailed description of Indigenous heritage was clarified two years before the de this declaration by the Commission on the Human Rights uh, settled the draft principles and guideline on the heritage of indigenous people in 2005. The draft defines indigenous cultural heritage as both tangible and intangible creations, manifestation, manifestations and production consisting of characteristic elements of the cultural heritage developed and maintained by the uh, indigenous people or indigenous individuals. Around the time, some countries implemented special legislation for protection indigenous people's heritage. Also, some academic associations, international research groups, and also expert committee for World Heritage Convention discussed um, and addressed that archaeological researches and heritage management should be uh, collaborated with and initiate, initiated by the uh, indigenous people themselves. It coincident that the rivalry changes uh, happened at several places in the world. The way of archaeology related to, to Ainu history has been reviewed and criticized. Uh, criticized um, uh, the criticized by several scholars. Uh, as the, the, the previous speaker, Kato, introduced an idea of indigenous archaeology to Japanese academia and raised a question whose who's who's archaeology has been done in Japan. He insists that the protecting Ainu heritage with respect for their es ethnic identity should be begun from the excavation and cooperative archaeological research is essential for the future archaeology in Hokkaido and Japan. Hata and me pointed out current registration is not enough to appreciate 
archaeological remains and site which is supposed to reconstruct his historical and cultural diversity distinct and distinctiveness in Hokkaido. Also, Ono uh, criticized that the Ainu could not take initiative in managing their heritage when Shuretoko was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage in 2005. Shuretoko is located on the um, easternmost portion of Hokkaido and was nominated for the World Natural Heritage. In the nomination process, U, uh, IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, evaluated Ainu heritage inside the territory and re strongly recommend the cooperation in managing area with Ainu people and the Japanese government. This recommendation seems very obvious because Shiretoko uh, holds countries of Ainu heritage, including place names, uh, all of histories, and more than 100 archaeological sites. However, collaboration, collaborative management of natural and cultural heritage in Shiretoko has been never done yet. But um, as the Professor Kato already pointed out, uh, some pioneering trials are breaking the status quo. I can say that one of the reading project is uh, is Reven project, just uh, Kato, uh, Professor Kato shows. And also, we can see some changes in rescue archaeology as well. Atsuma town, which is located southern part of Hokkaido, holds Ainu village sites. These sites contain quite variable remains to consider material and the spiritual culture of Ainu people in the medieval age and the modern age. When archaeologists of the Atsuma town excavated the tombs or the site related to the Ainu people as rescue archaeology for dam construction, they tried to think a great deal of the having a dialogue, dialogue with the Atsuma Ainu Association first. This is not worthy because it will be a crucial point how the rescue archaeology in Japan collaborate with the Ainu people in the future. Generally speaking, rescue excavation uh, count for more than 80% of the whole excavation conducted in Japan per year. In Hokkaido, rescue excavation sometimes reveals Ainu villages, dwellings, tombs, even a uh, sacred place especially when they excavated around the riverside or a rural farm. Also, there is a growing tendency for protecting Ainu culture these days, but any special um, regulation for protecting burial cultural properties of Ainu culture has not been implemented. Therefore, the most of rescue ar uh, archaeology process have been done without any dialogue or discussion with the Ainu people. Also, um, the Hokkaido Ainu Association, one of the biggest associations uh, of the Ainu people, has had a strong interest in the archaeology and its issues. In 2014, Hokkaido Ainu Association had a symposium, and uh, the, the topic of the symposium was the repatriating Ainu human remains. Two anthropologists and one archaeologist, which is the Professor Kato, uh, invited uh, to be a speaker and had an active discussion over the ethics, responsibility, and the way of repatriation. Um, the, uh, this year, 2015, the Hokkaido Ainu Association also had a symposium, um, that, and its th uh, topic is um, um, re reconstructing of Ainu history from archaeology, oral history, and written document. And this year, the association invited two history, uh, one historian and two archaeologists, including the Professor Kato again. So, um, with this situation of Ainu and archaeology in Japan, this paper. Uh, considers the potential of the cultural communication through archaeology between the Ainu and the ethnic Japanese. In order to show this point, I bring my discussion to a case study of Biratori town here. Because Biratori, a Biratori case can give us a good example to consider its potential and also the issues. 
。ビラトリタウンは、日高ビリジョン、サウザンセントラルの北海道、に、70% の人たちは、アイヌエスニスティ。ヒストリカリ、アイヌカウチャーは、ディベロップアロングサーブリバー、日高マウンテンズ、アンドエンプティーズ、インドゥーパシフィックオーシャン。The Saru River, you can see the,、uh, the picture.、Um, so the Saru River was enabled the Ainu people to get rich food resources as well as a convenient transportation. The landscape around the Saru River also gave、uh, many inspirations into Ainu spiritual cultures. Today, several types of Ainu heritage, including archaeological sites, cultural landscape, craft art, Traditional knowledge are highly evaluated and protected by the local and national legislation. s In the 1970s, Hokkaido Development Association and the Japanese government planned, planned to construct two dams in Biratori. One is Nibutani Dam around the Saru River, and the other is Biratori Dam around the Nukabira River, which is a Saru River's tributary. However, since lots of places and objects deeply related to the Ainu culture, including archaeological site and sacred site and landscape, are going to destroy due to the con、uh, construction, very strong oppositions from not only Biratori Ainu, but also、um, Ainu people from the Hokkaido. Finally, this movement was brought to the Sapporo District Court. The court Recognize the Ainu people as indigenous minority whose right to, um, uh, whose right, uh, to uh, control their distinct culture and it should be the protected by the law. However, since the dam construction had already done when the,、um, uh, the final decision by the Sapo District Court, the court refused to reverse the expropriation. Instead, The court ordered the Japanese government and the Hokkaido Development Association to conduct investigations for the various lost costs arising from the construction. After the court decision, more than 40 rescue excavations for,、uh, are intensively carried out there. Those、uh, rescue excavations revealed a quite rich and various prehistoric human activity of the region. More than 120 archaeological sites are identified, including Chashi. And Chashi is hilltop fortifications that are uh, uh, also used for ceremonial and other purposes, and which is a very important element of the Ainu culture com cultural complex. Those archaeological sites contribute to illustrate material culture of the prehistoric people living around the river from the Satsuman period. To Ainu cultural period, about the 10th century to the 19th century. Plenty of archaeological、uh, archaeological remains are proceed,、uh, pros processed by the archaeologists as well as, well as the Ainu,、uh, Ainu staff, and which brought more profound understanding for material culture and spiritual culture and structure of the past society. Also, a view of life and death, and trading and livelihood of their ancestors. About that time, two museums are open in Biratani town. One is Nibutani Ainu Culture Museum in 1992, and another is the Saru River Historical Museum in 1998. They have played a very important role of setting straight and deliver the rescue excavation result to the local people. The museum activity conducted the workshop,、uh, uh, the museum's activity conducted the workshop to provide opportunity for the locals to understand the prehistoric material culture and recognize those are their heritage to be protected and inherit by themselves. From 2002, Biratui town, which is developed the Ainu culture,、uh, well, the Biratui town has developed the developed The Ainu, cluster,、uh, Ainu Culture Cluster Project under the auspice of the Nibutani Ainu Culture Museum. The project's goals are hiring local、um, unemployed people to 
get traditional skills and encourage local residents to inherit Ainu cultural heritage. <coughs> Archaeological research, research and heritage management have been included in this project too. The project members have tried to put together various types of Ainu heritage and fill into the map together with Ainu elders and museum staffs. They have also tried to connect uh, uh, connected heritage each other in order to explore com comprehensive heritage management. Also, this project is still on the process. It's, uh, it is bearing fruit. One of the fruit, the Saru River region was selected as national important cultural landscape by the Agency of the Cult Cultural Affairs Jap of Japan in 2007. It is called Cultural landscape along the Saru River resulting from Ainu tradition and modern settlement. The Agency for Cultural Affairs highly appreciate the fact that the Saru River landscape is con consisted of the composition of inherent Ainu culture, including burial cultural property, sacred site, museums, and oral history, the mo and modern settlement by the ethnic Japanese. This nomination is worthwhile mentioning not only because it's the first nomination for this category in Hokkaido, but also um, the com uh, also um, comprehensive heritage management is effective. Now, Biratory Town uh, uh, now Biratory Town has initiated to develop heritage tourism, according to the International Council Tourism Charter 2002. Domestic and interna uh, international tourism is one of the foremost vehicles of cultural exchange. Under this slogan, Biratory Town launched monitor tour that people enjoy various type of cultural heritage. Uh, right, uh, cultural heritage there. Last year, 2014, about two, uh, 70 monitor tour are conducted, partly funded by the Japanese uh, national government. Tour guide who are employed for this project explain the detail of each heritage. There are still several issues to be considered, but a heritage tourism in Biratori would be starting dialogue with the tourists, and which is absolutely exceptional challenges in Hokkaido. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with the following point from Biratori case. Firstly, uh, rescue. A Rescue archaeology for the dam construction has played role to reconstruct historical ties to the region and promote cultural communication among the Ainu people. Afterwards, archaeological results have been combined with oral history, paleobiology, traditional knowledge, and other cultural resources and utilized for the museum activities. It deepens, uh, it deepens mutual understanding among the Ainu and other other local citizens in Biratori town. Those comprehensive heritage management expands now to tourism, and this heritage tourism tries to create cultural communication between Biratori people and tourists. However, it is also necessary, necessary to point out some issues still remain here. I have to con uh, I have to confess that Biratori would be still rare successful case. A dense population of Ainu, well-preserved Ainu heritage, supportive governmental bodies, collaboration among the Ainu, museum and government, and grants related to the dam construction. These factors strongly promote the Biratori case. But these are not for all city and all town in Hokkaido. Also, the way of indigenous heritage tourism has still in developed in Hokkaido. They are still groping how indigenous heritage should be, by whom, by whom, and indigenous heritage should be. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, they are still groping how indigenous heritage should be, and by whom indigenous heritage should be, and which indigenous heritage should be narrative for the tourist. Closing my paper, I would like to leave the following two questions open for the future studies. These two questions are key points when archaeology facilitates cultural communication between the Ainu and ethnic Japanese in Hokkaido. 
Thank you for your attention.